So uh, today uh, the agenda is uh, the connection library. We'll look at the web connection library, the application connection library, and the FAQ uh, regarding this uh, topic. So let's start with the web connection library. Uh, it's a collection of 400,000 plus uh, connections and it gives you a selection of uh, possible solutions after you have entered the rough shape of your uh, connection. So let me show you how. Uh, this is the connection that we are uh, looking at. We have a rough shape and we want the web connection library to suggest um, possible connections for this uh, geometry. So you can either launch connection library from the website of Ideastatica. It's ideastatica.com. And in under steel, you can choose connection library. That's one choice. You can also uh, find connection library directly in the Ideastatica application. So we'll go into the um, connection library and we will start off by uh, inputting the rough shape of the connection. So in this case, we will change the column for I shape. And then we will turn this like so. And it's supposed to be a rectangular hollow section. And then we will add another section and input the correct geometry like this. Um, and then we can search through the connection library to find possible solutions with these parameters. So we can see now that we have a lot of different solutions, possible solutions that we can choose from. We can get some inspiration or we can simply use it uh, if it suits our needs. So, for instance, I can choose this one. Uh, it has some uh, plates, an end plate, um, some stiffeners and bolted connections with the diagonals. And if this is uh, okay for me, I can then open it in the desktop. So now we can see that we have the connection we have the, the operations, we can go in and fine tune it if we want to and make it your own or simply apply the loads and go straight to the code check. That's one uh, way of doing it. There's also uh, the connection library in the application itself. So uh, it uses a cloud-based technology and provides design templates to be directly used for uh, new uh, projects, saved in the database from uh, current projects and shared with your colleagues. The connection browser will work with three databases of steel connections. So you have predefined. Uh, that's the default design set uh, maintained by Idea Aesthetica, uh, not possible to manage or, or change or edit. And then you have the pos uh, personal, uh, it's a design set visible only to the current user, uh, possible to uh, add or delete or uh, manage yourself. And then you have the company set, it's a design set visible only to all users of the same license. So those people can uh, add or delete or manage uh, those. So let me show you how it works. Here we have uh, the same connection. So if I were to manually uh, yeah, design this connection using operations, uh, adding cuts, stiffeners, plates, welds, bolts, so on, then I can add um, yeah, in this case, stiffeners, end plates, wideners, couplers, and some working planes to cut from, and then some stiffeners. Then um, I can publish this in the connection library. So I can hit propose, or sorry, uh, publish, and then I can 
publish this connection into the company library. And you can also choose if it's a moment or share or attention type of connection, if you'd like to have it sorted. And you have to choose if you want to put it in your personal or your company um, connection design set. So let's publish it in this company connection design set. <clears throat> and now let's say your colleague um, wants to uh, design a similar connection in a later time. So he has the similar uh, geometry, uh, the similar yeah, column, beam and diagonals. And he could also uh, input the operations one by one manually. But since you stored the connection in your uh, connection library, he can now hit propose and he can sort through and find the company set. And now this uh, connection is stored in the company set. So he can hit OK, uh, choose the default bolts in the connection and apply uh, all of the operations to this connection. And even if the geometry is slightly different, it uh, will not matter. So let's say this has a five degree angle, then it still works and the operations stick with the, yeah, the, the members in this case. So you can also go in and manage the different connections. So depending on if it's personal or the company set, you can see all your connections in the library here. So uh, we also have um, some frequently asked questions about the web connection library that I showed you uh, earlier. So how does it work? Well, uh, the database of connection library is based on uh, data collected through another Ideastatica cloud application for sharing project files, uh, namely uh, Viewer. So the collected connection designs were anonymized and stripped of all uh, data, but the cross sections, members and building codes. Uh, so also, are the, ver uh, are the connections verified? Uh, no, they are not, and they cannot be. Uh, they are stripped of all data, including loadings. So these designs, uh, these examples are set to guide the way how such uh, steel connections could be modeled. Uh, you should uh, then try to model them by yourself, um, apply the respective loading and per project needs and calculate them afterwards. Also, can I add connections to the library? Um, yes, uh, you can also contribute to the library by uploading your connections uh, to the viewer. So I can show you how that is done. If you open your Ideastatica application, you can go to the viewer. And here you can drag and drop or upload your connection and it will be included in the connection library. Last question. Um, yeah, is it the same connections as I see in my desktop uh, application? Um, no, uh, the connection library on your desktop works only with data of your Idea Statica installation. Uh, it's predefined connections design and also your company set and your private uh, set as I showed you. Thank you.